Hello everyone, it's Farkad here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build floors in Green Hell. This video, this episode, whatever. Every time I start, they are always walking along there, and they go through there so often. They never come this way though. So I decided to find a location that was different from the other one. Out of curiosity, it is here, I think. Yeah, there. That little spot there. It's got this armor structure here that you can't destroy, but... Yeah, it's a bit of a shame you can't really do anything inside it. Can't go inside there. So I've been collecting things to build this because this is probably one of the most tedious things to ever do in a game. But let's do it. It's probably going to take me a few tries to get it to work properly. So the idea is you can't actually build floors in this game, but what you can do is use the frame and go out to the water and then build off that. And I'm trying to line it properly. The problem is, you've got to try and work out if that's level with the floor. Like, to me, it can be extremely difficult to do that. So I'm just going to try this one first. I remember last time I played it, I built out to the water. Oh, that was fun. Game really didn't want you to do it, but I did it anyway. It takes so long just to make one of these. Then, keep building it out, and you can't connect it while well, it's in its blueprint phase. I'd recommend doing this off multiple saves, so if you get it looking quite right but you're not happy with it, save it on one save, reload, and then try it again. This is my fourth time doing this. I originally just did it to test how it would work, to remind myself of the building mechanics of this game. Build the ones at the back first and then complete these on the outside so you don't get stuck underneath there. I think that can happen. I think it might be a bit too high. So when I got here, I cleared all the bushes and cut down most of the trees and then allowed them to grow back. Takes a while still. Yeah, this is looking a bit too high, I think. Because the game has no steps or stairs. So I'm just going to keep building out just in case I got it wrong. I actually don't know why you'd want to do this unless you're just like me and you're an absolute perfectionist and you don't like having dirt floors. So instead you make mud floors. Depends if you want soft mud or hard mud. This is such a waste of resources, by the way. But this is how I want my base to look. This is much easier to do if you have mods for it, I will say. It's a build anywhere mod and a free cam mod. I think they can make it a lot easier. I think you know it's all right if you can walk up this part here. So if I go here, no, here, no, here, I can kind of run in from that angle. I wasn't so concerned about rope because it just regrows after every reload from what I can tell. And there's so many of them around. Built one rack just to speed it up a little bit. Oh, this, I haven't burned it yet. It's just been raining non-stop. And I think that happened in the last playthrough. It rained non-stop and then it was like a dry spell for like 10 days. It just didn't rain again. Game hasn't crashed either, which is a good thing. I think it was updating the video card drivers. This might actually work. Still got a lot more to do. As you can see, this uses so many resources just for a floor. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why they don't add a floor to the game. I actually think I might get this right on the first go, but I suppose I did try like four other times. I actually had it close to right, and then I was building this mud thing over here, and I accidentally picked up a poison dart frog, and it killed me. And I reloaded this morning and did it again. <laughs> I'm building the same thing. I picked up another poison dart frog. Oh, man, it was infuriating. I survived that one, though. I've left so many sticks lying on the ground. Crazy amounts. Because you want the logs and the long sticks, but not really the normal sticks. So that's looking like, eh, pretty average. Oh no, my capybara meat. Oh no, I just, I destroyed the whole stack. Why would I do that? Ah, oh, IQ moves right there. Oh, there's a capybara right there. Hopefully this, there we go. I'm all right again. Been keeping this fire burning for a long time now. Yeah, I think this might work. It's big enough. There's something I've realized about my building styles. I end up making big blocky structures that are practical but look like crap. I've got like a communist architect style in mind. Time for the mud side of things. So you're just using mud roofs. I'm going to start at this end just to make sure to go inside here. Oh, the fun part. Making mud bricks. This tree constantly spawns bees or wood resin. So I have to shoot it down and I go and collect it. Yeah, this seems to be good. If this was a forest, it wouldn't be good. Because the player can only step up 3 mil before getting launched into the air. You need the free cam mod to build it, which is unfortunate. So you put a shed on the side like this. You'll need also the 
place anywhere mod because then it acts like a ramp works really well the reason you need the free cam mod is those bottom two logs they go so far underground you can't place a log on them if you didn't want to keep these you could demolish them but the logs and stuff will fall in the water and you can't really get them out once they're in there but they go again across there they can't see very far from what i've learned oh, man i forgot how tedious working with mud is well i place the doors on this thing I'm actually thinking this probably would have been a better way to do it. Oh, no, wait. I might not have been able to place the bottom things, whatever they are. I'll try it shortly. I've already built this all. I don't even think to do that. Can I build out any further? Technically, I can. I definitely could have gone lower. Can't really walk up. I get stuck on this one. I don't get stuck on that one. And I get stuck on this one. Can't even run up that one. There's an achievement for keeping a fire going for longer than five days. Must be getting close. Using the get rid of all these sticks. Can't get my energy up. Because I only just recovered from that poison dart frog. I reckon they should change the button for picking up poison dart frogs. <laughs> so you don't accidentally pick them up. It does look a lot nicer than that. But man, it's so much work just to get it done. I don't think there's any caimans in here. Washing myself because I've got to eat after sleeping. I'm not 100% sure, but I think if your stats are good, it slows down the rate that you lose energy. It would make sense if it is that way. Oh, for this to work, you obviously need to have a ledge or water to work off. Build it out there and then extend it across. I need campfire ash, this one. So it can't be built in sight, so I'm better off making it outside. What are the chances of me building out like this? I don't know. Making me think where I should place this mud furnace thing. Got so bright with it. Let this turn up. I didn't realize it was so cheap. It's only three mud things. You can always make two stories. That's much better for getting a mud floor. Getting bright and some switch it back to the other filter. Trees are growing back. I like the sing. Okay. Let that do its sing. Funny. Two globs. Arrows that I shot at it. Two piranhas. Oh, my fire's almost gone out. My permafire. I think these are ready to cut down. I should burn this, eh? There was a person stuck to this tree, and I set it up, but I haven't lit it, so I didn't think just to come under here to make the embers. This honey takes up a lot of room on inventory. Bigger. Ah, oh, it's gonna take ages. Keep going with this. Mud roof, don't you mean mud floor? <laughs> I don't really like game developers telling me what to do. Oh, no, I've got no more campfire ash. Got any charcoal? Yeah. Harvest that. It gives me campfire ash. Place these all. I think with trees regrowing, it makes... Oh, it's like the first time it stopped raining in ages. I like how this game is just set out weird. For example, you need seven bricks to make a floor. This one only makes six bricks at a time. It's like it's purposely set out to make you do that extra trip, that extra step to make it work. I haven't found a canteen yet, so moving water is a lot more difficult. You use a turtle shell for this. Really? This is tedious as all hell. I want it to rain again. Oh, so I found out with destroying their structures, their bases, you actually got to knock them down with the axe. I'm so reliant on the rain for keeping me clean. But remember, wash myself more often, like in real life. I'll just say, so I might see if the balcony thing works. What's the price difference, actually? Justify it. Two logs, four sticks, six ropes. So you need two more ropes, but you have two less logs. I'm not going to be able to put the ropes down on the bottom one, so this isn't going to work. It's a really long house. Pretty crappy unless I design something on top. I don't know. Keeper of the flame. I got the, <laughs> I got the achievement for keeping the fire going. This is a really long house. I don't remember how long my last one was. Also had problems with items despawning. All my charcoal disappeared. Can't find it anywhere. There they go past again. See what I mean? Can't make sense of it. Couldn't do it this way, otherwise it will spill. Make another mud mix too. These eight logs are expensive. Every time I build these things, I always pick up a poison dart frog, so I'm going to save. This isn't a permanent storage solution. This was temporary. Pretty sure you get all the resources back if you squash it, kill it, break it, etc. Come on, we haven't finished. So that spider. I'm actually concerned, and can they go underneath these and bite you through the floor? I don't know. I have to put a frame on top. Oh no, what for? No, it's working. Okay, whatever. See, why does it, why is the game like this? Why can't I place that? And I can't place this one, because I've probably already placed that one. This is confusing. Okay, so I've got to place this side first, then that side. Otherwise, it won't let me place it. It'd be worth making one side sheds. Done yet? Come on. I'm going to need some more meat soon. So if I do this, it's going to look all blocky. Sheds might look a bit funny. I don't know. Oh, the rain just stopped. Me. It's a good idea having this frog in my... Inventory. Sheds are a lot more limited. 
I don't know. Yep, bees are back. It's almost enough to... Oh, I left it too long. It's almost enough to keep my carbohydrates going. I'm carrying around wood resin for... I don't even know what it's used for. Leave it on the ground, it's probably going to get... Probably going to disappear. I probably should let it go. If I touch it, it's probably going to poison me again. Let it go, see what happens. Oh, it's good. Yeah, he spent a few days in my inventory. Okay, so I had family come over, so I just stopped recording. And I did about 10 minutes worth of mud slinging. The rain's been starting and stopping a lot, so I've been trying to get as much of this stuff done as possible. So I don't have to add water to it, does it automatically with the rain? I need a mud thing on each side to make it more efficient. I think it's worked out quite well. I couldn't imagine not building near water in this game. The mud structures really did add the game to be a must build near water. The forest is very much like that as well. That's a heart of palm right there. Gotta use that for carbohydrates. Silly fuck it. Alright, there we go. So, all that isn't really for anything. You could just build on the ground and you'll get the same effect. But oh, I like to put the extra effort in. I've got a bow there, but I can't see the bow. It's not there. Laws. My invisible bow. Oh yeah, it's completely invisible. It doesn't even have a texture. I don't want to cause that to happen. No mods, none at all. Maybe I should make another one, just in case. Yeah, it's an invisible bow. That one's not invisible. I'll just destroy it. It's too confusing otherwise. Okay, what's next? How do I do this? It's too wide, I can put stuff on both sides. If it's a shed, I think it's going to work too well. I can't put the shed on here anyway. I just don't want it to look like a big block. I've got to do one side first. I've got to do this side first. It won't place. I don't know what you make of that. I have so many logs. Butter. What the doors? Question. Door there. I think I put them on the sides here. I actually don't know. I'm not going to extend out any further than this. I don't think I can. It's long enough. I wonder if I could just change, make it look decent from the top. This is going to be so expensive to build. I said the game's not intended for you to do this stuff for the floors, so this is going to take a long time. You can't cut down these ones, which is most unfortunate. Yeah, I've used up pretty much all my logs. These things. Not as good as the capybaras, but yeah. Capybara or capybara? Ah, oh, crap, scorpion. Oh, centipede, get off. <laughs> get away from me, naughty. Take this down in case I accidentally step in it. Hey, okay, well, I've got that energy. Light two fires. Light this one. Multiple doorways. So two there, one there, all there. Nine sticks, six sticks. Could fit two chests along there, I think. Maybe not. Hmm, I wonder if it's a case I've got to place certain things first to fit them in. I'll take a look at it shortly. Sleep. I know this is the case I need to be doing more stuff in the game, so give the trees a chance to respawn, etc. I might craft a lot of bone armor, actually. Clean this up. Oh, of course I put all my wraps away. What do these trees yield? Ah, oh, no, not worth cutting down. Better wait till they get the big logs in them. I'm an expert at making bone armor. What's your ability? 95%. There we go. I had a lot of fiber here, and that's despawned as well. Really need to get storage container. Ah, oh, I feel like I need to get away. On a holiday. Where's the map? Okay, I'm here. Search half this. I've only searched half the map. This section. I think I dropped feathers on the ground too and they're despawned. Good incentive to make storage containers. Not deconstructing this. Sticks through the wall a bit, doesn't it? And I bet you I cannot place a wall on it now. Yep. That place anywhere mod would certainly be good. I want to show you how to do things without mods. Sticks out for real far. But I probably can't place the wall on it now. Yeah, I can't. Seems like wasted real estate. Like, you should be able to place that there. We sort of can. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that gap. That's huge, and it won't let me place it there. So rude. Jesus, mate. Park a forklift behind there. If only I was forklift certified. How's that? Run in. Probably get caught on it. But this seems to be... Oh, I, I think I'm happy with this. More sticks. I knew there was a use for them. Oh, the planks that I had earlier. Still my charcoal in there. I don't want that to despawn. Is there an easier way to transfer them? Or do I have to... Oh, hold down alt. Okay. Well, that certainly is better. Let's fill some of this other stuff here. It's dried flowers that I have no idea what they're used for. Bandages, that'd be a good idea. Think of it. So there's less stuff on the ground. The game's performance can be a bit better. Might be less risk of things despawning too. Like the forest with logs, if you've got more than 50 on the ground, they start despawning. The game really likes making you drag and drop things. Oh, not too bad. Once you get this point in the game, everything's just so much easier. So it gets easier and easier from then on. Yeah, stats are good. I want to go kill something. Oh, walking over there again. Every time I look over there, just about. 
Like that camp. I think I should just walk in and knock down the structures. There shouldn't be anyone there. I'm heading south. Watch out for stingrays this time. Yeah, here it is, I think. I guess they weren't interested in eating and their crewmates destroy it. So I think I've got to destroy this. Maybe this as well. Small camp destroyed. I gained trust. I have no idea where I am though. I think I'm up here. Oh my god, they just walked right past me. Oh, I'll have to head south. In this direction. I like how you can play a game like this and you don't run into any enemies. Yeah, I clear this one out. Oh, an arrow. That's one of mine. Take it down. Oh, another one of my arrows. Can I get it? Yeah, I got it. This would be a mad spot to build if there was water nearby. Is there? Yeah, not really. Big resources here. Just have to destroy everything. Oh no, I don't have to destroy this. 40 trust gain. I wish I could teleport these resources back to my base. Too far away to cart them back. So around here I got bitten by that caiman. See many coconuts. And again, I don't look up on the trees very often. I do think this game has better survival elements than the forest. Maybe it's that I'm just that good at the forest that it doesn't feel like a survival game anymore. I don't know. One of the only games I voluntarily walk in places. Not for immersion, just not to step on anything that can hurt me. That crab's walking up the log. <laughs> what a champion. Look at him go. Uh, I'm not interested in fighting them. You could build on here. This would be a pretty good spot to build, I reckon. It's very nice. I should be a bit of a pain bringing resources in. Once the bamboo dries up, what do you have to do? Chuck it down the cliff or something? Yeah, this would be a mad spot to build. This, oh, I well, actually wish I had built my base here now. I mean, they're very loud, eh? I doubt they would be in real life, but, you know, telegraph in their position big time. Yeah, this would be a mad place to build. Can't get trees from up here. You have to get them from over there or drop them down from the cliff. So it would be a good place to build, but it would be a pain to get the resources in. But look at it. You're just surrounded by waterfalls, lots of water. There's only two ways in and out. It's doing that yellow thing again. It's a radioactive capybara. You escape from fallout. We just knock down trees. They're a little bit further back. There's some of the leaves. Makes it a lot easier to see where the stick trees have landed. Ooh, a lot of food. I'm just destroying these leaf piles now. You get so many of them if you clean up the floor like I do. They just cut the trees down. This one will probably produce logs. Yeah, it did. Logs are better because you can actually just hit them with an axe and it will turn them into two long sticks and a plank. Big tree, I can't tell. Oh no, that's two trees in one. That was strange. Big planks, so I have to hit a few of these. Stop moving. What are you doing? The way. This might be a good way to move bases. Let's keep loading it up. I think I remember this. Probably gonna get to a point where I can't move though. Might be an issue if I close this. See what happens. Yeah, there, there we go. Nice space and backpack. So fun. I think one of the most popular mods is extend the amount of um stuff you can carry. I can see why. There's a bird's nest in there now. Oh, there's an egg. Don't know what the egg does. Do the planks. One more mud brick. Another storage container. Coconut in there. Little lilies. That'd be useless placing a wall underneath there. No, too deep. How did I do it before then? I don't remember. Sleep. Forget to do that. I gotta remember when I wake up, I have to uh, redo my stats. Problem is with small prey, like birds and snakes and that, very low fat, so you have to make it up with nuts. Cooks really quickly though. Doesn't really give energy though. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, no fats. I think stacking them up on the craft and things worth it if you're going long distances, but this isn't long enough to justify it for me. This has gone a lot quicker than I thought it would. Still gotta do the sticks up top. I'm sick of these. Annoying process to destroy them all. What's the cost to store them though? Yeah, long sticks. Why has everything always got to cost long sticks? Do you get back what you spent on it? I'm not sure. No, you don't. You get like half. Rude. There's a stick up there. That was weird. Of course, there's a scorpion on it. Scorpion. You know what I meant. I might go back to where I first started making my base. It's just around the corner here. There it is over there. Good thing I didn't make my base there, they walked through there. Totem might be a good indication of that. Ah! Headshot. He's in the water. Yeah. Where did he go? If I kill him in the water. It's my arrow. Another one. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't build my base here, I think. That probably would have been a bad idea. Which way do I go? This way. Oh! 
Sorry, bro. Hmm. Ragdoll physics are funny. What's the one? Tribal spear. This tree always been here. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Oh, disappointing. Oh, see? Wasn't sure that was going to turn out. Hang to. I hate those things. Rampant in Queensland, Australia. Annoying. I have obsidian stone too. That despawned. Oh, this game is lovely. Green hell. Tell me you hate me without telling me you hate me. Oh, man. Things that make you go, oh, I wish I'd have known that. I refuse to go fishing in this game. Pretty much every game I'm like that. Is there an egg in there? No, no egg. I'm gonna cook the egg and see what happens. Boiled. Well, not really. 10 fats, 10 proteins. That's pretty good. I'll make up arrows and store some of them. Yeah, that works. Jeez, such small trees and they produce logs. Oh, centipede. Quick, quick, quick. It didn't get me, but I think it did. I'll leave the end one, though. I don't know if I need this. Oh, man. Just don't remember things. Big fish. These ones have a lot of bones in them. Scales. Okay. What's scales useful? From memory, the meat's not very good. You can't combine these items for another. Okay. I feel like looking this up, because they take up a lot of space. Oh, there is side doorways. I probably should have done that. That one have had more room, but that seems to work out all right. I don't remember side doorways being a thing. Oh, really? Why? Ah, oh, this game is just spicy to the max. Let me guess, you're not going to let me place it. Yep, yeah, because it's colliding there. How do these things make it past QA? Uh, let's save. Oh, we should sleep. I like this game, but there's just so many annoying things in it. Oh, that goes off soon. Full stats. I'm going to build it. See if I can place it after the one's finished. Unless they probably thought, why would someone place a doorway next to another doorway? Kind of makes sense. Oh, there we go. I might leave the mud stuff for later because it's really boring to do. That's enough for this episode. Next one, I'll finish off this part, I think. Yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.